ba 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 da ba chicken tails. Hi everyone, welcome to Chicken Tales. My name is Sarah, and this is the first episode of a brand new podcast for kids. I'm so glad that you've joined us. Each episode will feature a story or two written by kids just like you. We will also have jokes and silly suggestions for something to do with your family. If you are interested in hearing your stories on the podcast, please send them to me at chickentailspod at gmail.com. Our first story today is by Alessia. It's entitled, The Unicorn Jumps Over Things. First, the unicorn meets a goblin from a show. Then, the unicorn eats a piece of grape. Then the unicorn found a creepy hand, and the creepy hand touched the unicorn's horn. Then the unicorn found a creepy pumpkin. Yikes! Then the unicorn found three lollipops and ate all of them. Too many lollipops! Then the unicorn found some yucky spaghetti. Then the unicorn found a slime guy from the movie that we just bought. And and then the unicorn found a really black frog. Then the unicorn found a mommy from Transylvania. Oh dear. And finally, the unicorn found a robot. The end. What a great story. Thank you, Alessia. That was a very busy unicorn. My favorite part was when the unicorn ate all those lollipops. Have any of you ever eaten too many lollipops? How many is too many lollipops? If you had five lollipops, would that be too many? I bet your grown-up would tell you what was too many lollipops. I wonder what happened with the robot. Alessia, you've got to let us know what happened with the unicorn and the robot next. And now it's time for joke of the day. Why didn't the lobster share his toys? Because he was shellfish. Our next story is from Sammy, and it's called Looking for Food and Tail. I will point out that the kind of tail that Sammy is talking about is on an animal and not like the stories we are telling. Once upon a time, Eeyore had no thistles to eat. He went to Frog. Frog, he said. I have no thistles to eat. Do you have any food? Frog said, I only have jello. Eeyore took a bite of the jello. Yuck, he said. Next he went to Sammy. Give me a treat, please. Sammy gave him a treat and took off Eeyore's tail to be a scavenger hunt. Then Sammy said, Go to Snowman next. So Eeyore went to Snowman. Snowman, snowman, he cried. I have no food to eat. Do you have some? The snowman said, no. I just go out in the cold and look for food. Go to costumes next. So Eeyore went to costumes. Hi, costumes. I've got no food to eat. Do you have some? Costume said, no. I just go to the restaurant. They always have food there. How about you go there to look for food? I know they'll have some. Eeyore said, let's go there. Eeyore wandered to the restaurant. Sure enough, someone was carrying Eeyore's tail and, better yet, had a big bowl of soup. Eeyore ate the soup and put on his tail. Then Eeyore lived happily ever after. Oh, thank you so much, Sammy. I'm so relieved that Eeyore found his tail. I was really worried there for a minute. What a scavenger hunt! Next up, the silly activity of the day. I bet you're washing your hands a lot lately. Have you been washing your hands all day long with your grown-ups? Grown-ups love washing their hands, don't they? How about the next time you wash your hands, you sing happy birthday in a mouse voice? Really high and squeaky. Like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Or you should try a low low, deep, fair voice, like this. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. See how many different voices you can come up with. Your grown-ups will love it. Remember, do it all day long. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for listening to Chicken Tales. Remember, this week, if you find a friendly chicken, ask it if it has any stories to tell you. Although, if you don't come across a chicken with stories, you should write your own and send them to us at chickentailspod at gmail.com. I would love to share them with everybody. Bye-bye. Ba-ba-ba-da-ba, Chicken Tales!